Are you ready for some necro dancing, John? I got my dancing shirt on. Yeah. My uh, my dancing pants on. Are you dead? Are you also deceased? No. Because that might be a prerequisite to dance in the crypt of the necro dancer. Welcome everybody to the super awesome video game show here on Rage Select. I, of course, am Jeff, and I'm John, and we are playing uh, the most dancing roguelike game ever. I feel like at this point, there's just this big wheel in the video game industry. They spin. It's got like genres on one side. It reminds me of. Uh, What's that like video game? The one where you make your own games. Oh, uh, uh, game dev our, story. Oh yeah, game where it's dev like, story. what do you want to make? It's like dancing rhythm based rogue like. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So we're gonna get started here. <clears throat> John, you're going to have to tell him because okay. I'm going to be working on working yeah. my dance gotta, piece here. you got to focus. So the thing is, you'll notice, as the description on there says, it's uh, to play it. You just use the arrow keys. That's it. Interesting fact, though, if you have a USB dance pad for, like, say, you know, Dance Dance Revolution or something, you can totally use that as your movement. Like, you can plug that in and play with that instead. And so you're actually dancing along with the main character. So... Yeah, it's it's I, I really like that idea. That if you go to their website, which is necrodancer.com, they even have links to, to I guess Amazon or store pages where they tell you what game pad what dance pads specifically work with their uh, with the game. Work best. So I, I'm I'm excited about that. So people who are uh, into the whole dance dance revolution scene can totally get in on that. This is the game for them. It's weird how um, like right now I'm playing this with the keyboard. Yeah. It's really, really hard to talk and move on the beat. Yeah. Cause you gotta keep moving. If you stop moving or you, you miss the beat, you, you, you lose your points. You lose your uh, a multiplier. So you get less uh, coins. Cause the higher your multiplier, the more coins you get uh, when you pick up coins, which is uh, pretty badass. Which is important. Yes. And uh, on top of that, enemies have different movement types. They move around differently, so it's one of those games where you want to pay attention to, uh, uh, you know, what you, where you want to pay attention to, you know, the 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 movement patterns, and try to time it with your with the beat. Everything is beat related. Oh, I love the shopkeeper so much. Damn, he is like my all-time favorite. Yeah, when that first happened, John was just like, <laughs> "Yeah, I literally when I saw that, I was like, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm so, I'm down for this game. This is my game. This is my jam. Opera singing, uh, uh shopkeepers. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's an interesting game. It kind of reminds me of uh, a similar game uh, for the Ouya, uh, which is uh, Soul Fjord, which yep. is like this Viking." rhythm game except in, in, except all the music is like 70s funk uh and uh the the game has except instead of the movement being what you time to the dance to the rhythm yeah uh, that game is the attacks but it's also a roguelike Damn. adventure game all right so i died all right died. I, could, I could i could start talking again <laughs> i died and when you die uh you basically uh you could go back to the lobby uh, and in the lobby, uh, all the diamonds that you picked up, uh, you can take them into these stores over here, and you can buy uh, upgrades. These are things that will show up in chests inside of the level. And then over here, we've got the Dungeon Master, and he gives you permanent upgrades. So, like, every level will have a... I'm going to take the heart container, because that's really important. Yes, it is. And then uh, this one is on every level, a red chest will show up, which will have, like, weapons and items. And then you've also got all these other doors that unlock... Uh, when you basically free the characters that are inside of the levels. Um, and then you've also got, you do local co-op, which we haven't tried because that would be a little awkward with the microphones and stuff. Yeah, because um, it's one person is controlling up, down, left, right, and the other person is controlling WASD. Yeah. Uh, here you've got the dance pad mode that John yeah. was talking about. And, uh, yeah, there's a daily challenge, character select, which looks like it's still in alpha right now. Um, so I'm just going to go back in and we'll just give this thing a shot. Now, one of the things I find really interesting about this is outside of just being straight up a rogue game, it also has this weird kind of, I don't even know if I would call it like a Minecraftian type of thing with the digging where you can yeah. find all these bonus things. But I got to now shut up and, and concentrate all on right. the rhythm. All right. On the beat. Shut your hole, Jeff. So you see that? Yeah, the little you, you see a little blinking blue thing. Up there? Uh, up there. If you get that. Boom. Diamond. Diamonds are also important. Yep. And, I, and one thing you didn't mention is if you try to leave, if you try to go back into the game without spending your diamonds, you lose those diamonds. Yeah. So it's you if you go back to the lobby, which you should do if you uh, if you die, uh, you need to spend those diamonds because you lose them otherwise. 
if you try to replay the level or what? what was, oh, that was a stack of coins. Uh, or if you try to, but if you try to leave the level or uh, or try to replay the level or, or just go leave the the lobby before uh, before using them, you lose them. So, but uh, I like I said, I really like the music in this game too. And it's uh, worth noting that you can put your own music in. Yeah, you could. They have a folder in the that you called you know custom playlist, and you just drop MP3s into it, and it'll apparently. Uh, work. I haven't tried it. We haven't tried it. Uh, but uh, so talk a little bit about the weapon that I got. So which weapon did you just get? You got broad the big, sword. The big broad sword, which allows you to attack enemies from multiple angles or from uh, oh, multiple yep. squares or whatever. Here we go. Oh, here's a shopkeeper. Get the golden key. Yeah, you get a pack, which I think allows you to carry more things. Yes. Uh, more of the items that you can use, like the apple there. Yeah. Damn. But you can use that to unlock these characters um, that go back into the lobby. And I'm going to just say that, and then I'm going to get back into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So now that guy will be in the lobby, and he can he does something. You know, he'll he'll allow you to upgrade something or buy something or or teach you something, uh, depending on what that character's level. Uh, you see a dragon. giant dragon. Dragons are dicks in this game. I'm trying to... Because they're they're also like super powerful. Oh, monkeys! No, ah, that was terrible. That was terrible. So, so monkeys, when they when they jump on your face, they keep you from being able to move. Yep. And, and so here we unlocked the Beast Master, uh, who will let you basically train. Because the the biggest part of this game is the fact that you want to keep moving to the beat, and that it's it's interesting how just being in that mindset. Uh, gives you all sorts of opportunities to fuck up yes. against enemies where you're just like, you, you're trying to keep moving so you're not concentrating on like the pattern for that one enemy yeah. or how they work. Ooh, I want to get the spears are awesome. Yeah, spears are actually really cool. So uh, yeah, there's a few different en there's a few different um, um, bosses, weapon types. Or weapon types. Yeah. So the broadsword hits all three things in front of you, but then the spear lets you attack from uh, one additional square away, yeah. which let's see if I can find one. Yeah, and then uh, like there's also a blunderbuss, which allows you to. It's a super powerful spread weapon. Uh, and then you'll also notice those little th where th you may have noticed there were cracks in that one rock, and Jeff put a bomb in front of it, and it's a secret thing. This uh, one costs life, so do you give up two of no. your hearts to get one of those items? And in this case, Jeff said no. But uh, yeah, so I mean, it's really, really like the. You know, you think of it there just on its base, like it's not all that difficult. Like it's like, oh, that's easy, that's simple. But then, uh, then you try doing it. <laughs> yeah, and and it's and it's. But what I like about it is it's not a, like it's not a frustrating difficulty. It's a, ooh, I wish I did better. I'm gonna go do better next time. You know, like I'm gonna kick its at this game's ass this time because it's fun. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, I, I oh, there's another diamond. Um, it's a lot of fun. And like I said, I really like the music in this game. And also, if you don't like the music, like we said earlier, you can put in your own music. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to throw some Def Leppard in here. <laughs> some Def Leppard. Yeah. All my music would be like ska and, and like pop punk. That would be hard, right? Yeah, on probably the probably be like super fast paced. Well, on the upbeat. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. The way that. Damn it. Get it together, Jeff. Um. The way that Ska has on the, you know, yeah, tends to be on the upbeat. Like, I don't know how it would even interpolate that. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, and, and if I'm not mistaken, right now this game is only on early access. Uh, it's uh, available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Really? And uh, they stated that right now they have no plans for a console release. That right now they are just focusing on getting the early access version done. And then after they are done with early access, if the game does well enough on its own, they may consider other console port or console ports. That sucks. Yeah. It seems like it would be perfect, like as a party game almost. Yeah. Oh, here, okay, new song. New song. Every level is a or every yeah every level is a new song. So seven hundred. Jesus, what is that? Like a crossbow or something? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it looks kind of like a crossbow, like a three prong or three arrow crossbow. Does, ooh, 
titanium uh, titanium uh, shovel? shovel goes through rock. Oh, and this one you can transmogrify an item for uh, 20 points. I don't know if I want to do any of that. <laughs> what happens if you transmogrify the torch? I mean, do you, or do you not want that? Oh, you just have to have like an item in that slot, so that would be... Transmogrification oh. failed. Transmogrification... Okay, uh, yeah. I'll, t I'll try the, the spear. 20 coins, right? Yeah. Boom. And now it's a blood uh, broadsword. Blood okay. broadsword. Okay, yeah, no, those are pretty cool. And I forget what the, the different classifications. I mean, obviously a titanium is means it's stronger and it can cut through more heavy stuff or uh, dig through more heavy stuff. But I forget what the if there's something that the blood broadsword does specifically. <sighs> oh, crap. Oof. Yeah, that was rough. Um, now, it, to me, I was... This game cool. does have controller support. Yep. Um, but I think it might be a little bit more difficult with controller because, um, I mean, you have to set the, the like it's only four. It's like up, down, left, right are the only keys, and but there are some times where you have to press two keys at once, like left and down, or up and right, or up, you know, or even up and down, which would mean on a keyboard you can just use your fingers to do both keys at the same time. On a controller because everything's controlled with your thumbs, it's kind of harder to do that. You know, it's a little counterintuitive, um, but the way to probably do that would be um, putting up and down on one side and left and right on, like, buttons. Yeah. Or, like... Or they, they actually did say that you can set it to where two keys do the same action. So you could do the D-pad up, down, left, and right, and then A, B, X, and Y is also up, down, left, and right. So that when you, you're only using one of them... To move, to move, but when you do the two keys, you then use the other one. Yeah. So, I mean, that that's definitely something that could be done. Oh, good. I was going to say, you should eat your apple. Get a heart. But, uh, but yeah, it's... it's it, it. game gets really, really in-depth. Well, it's just using a, a classic formula. Yeah. In this case, the roguelike in a different way. Did we find shop guy yet? No, I don't think we've found the shop guy yet. I think you got more bombs, or a more bomb. There he is. And you'll notice that there are some uh, arrow pads which will move you. Ah, shop guy. You never fail to uh, entertain me. <laughs> I don't know if I've heard him, uh, heard him singing like that before. For this song? Yeah. Yeah. Never gets old for me. Like, they also, on Steam, they sell that you can buy it with the soundtrack. Like, I wonder if there are tracks with just the shop guy's opera over it. <laughs> the um, alternate track? Yeah, the alternate track, because I, I would I would buy the soundtrack in an instant. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, we're done. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. I think you, uh, you cleared out this section. Mm -mm -mm. And then also... Oh, yeah, you know, we should check uh, these out. So, the one so with this the double one. arrows, now the beat has been slowed. So, you got to move a little bit slower. That's but only for a little voice. time. That's your, that's your slow mo yeah. voice? Yeah, and also there's one that goes the other way that speeds it up. Uh, okay, as well. Just... But yeah, I mean, uh, oh, there's a ghost. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The ghosts are kind of cool because they stay in. They're kind of like Boo ghosts from Mario. Because uh, they stay invisible when you look at them, but then when you turn your back, they go solid. And I just hit my mic stand right into my face. Um, <laughs> but Stop. Uh, they they go solid for a second, and then you can quickly turn around and hit them, which is nice. There he is. There's the shopkeeper. You got some armor. Ooh. You got sp a spell. Never. Fire spell. Don't think I've had one of those yet. Yeah, when I was playing earlier, uh, when you were not here, uh, I was, uh, I got that. Up and right? Ah. Yeah, so it's up and right, and then, like, it does a countdown timer to when you can use it again. Oh, and there's another shot person. Nicely done, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
you know, this the like I said, they're, they're, the website for the game where you can find out more information about it is uh, necrodancer.com. Uh, the music is by a guy named Danny Barnowski. Barnowski? Something like that. I don't mm. know. Uh, it's good music. I like it. I mean, it's, you know, it's obviously like dance. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, is that? God damn it. I didn't uh, know it was going in that direction. All uh, right. Crap on crap. Crap on crap. What time we got here? We're about halfway done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and, oh, yeah, we got we got somebody new. Yeah, we got a, we a Merlin. Magic. We got a item. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the Ring of Luck. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to get the other treasure chest. And that's it. Oh, no, we got one more. And the, the cheese. cheese. All right. Let's try this one more time, and then we're going to switch places, John. All right. I'm down for it. I'm ready. I love rhythm games, so. <laughs> I don't like Dance Dance Revolution, but I like rhythm games. Uh, so, because, like, I, you know, obviously I'm a huge fan of Rock Band. Uh, anyone who knows me knows that. Uh, and then... uh. He's the guy that we call. Yeah. We need Rock Band. Yeah. Uh, though probably not anymore, considering my Xbox died. <laughs> my Xbox 360 died. Oh, no, shit. No, I still have my, my hard drive with all my uh, tracks on it. It's just the old hard drive that is no longer compatible with the newer Xboxes, which everyone I know has. So, go me. But hey, it took to the end of that console's life cycle for it to die on me, so, you know. Whoa. Ouch. Yeah, that's uh, Transmogrifier guy. That was like some type of super bomb. I think I just didn't get far enough away from it. Yeah, well, it was a bigger blast than normal, though, wasn't it? I don't think so. Oh, okay. But, uh... Oh, look, another broadsword. Yeah. But yeah, I tend to like, uh... uh kind of, uh... This type of game, rhythm games, uh, like I, I really liked uh, on, like I said earlier, on the Ouya, the Soul Fjord. I'm a big fan of Rez. Uh, you see, they put out uh, Vib Ribbon again. Yeah, Vib Ribbon. I've been meaning to check that one out because I didn't, I didn't own a, I never played that on the PS2. It was a PS2. PS1. PS1. That that would be why I never played it. I never owned a PS1. Um, so yeah, I need to check that out at some point, uh, and then. Uh, and then what? What? Uh, what? What was that game that that, uh, that Harmonix did? That was uh, that they just recently did a Kickstarter for. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. It was a re-release of a PS2 game. Why am I blanking on it? Uh. Uh. Re-release of PS2. Oh. Um. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Frequency. Yes. Amplitude. 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 Yeah. One of those two. Yeah. Oh, wait, it was I amplitude. got the thing. Uh, Damn. Yeah. No, it was totally Amplitude. Um, yeah, I like I loved Amplitude. I wish I could have gotten in on that Kickstarter, but I was broke when it when they were doing it and couldn't get it. So, oh well. Uh oh. Hmm. But uh, so you could take the uh, oh god damn it. Oh, those little shortcuts. Yeah, those little that little uh, double door thing. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, sometimes those double door things though they uh <laughs> nicely done. I didn't even know you could do that. That would work. Uh, but yeah, the the those double doors can sometimes drop you into very inopportune places. Yeah, like I was dropped into a room that had two dragons and a minotaur in it, and I was like, "Well, I'm dead." And I was. I did. I died almost immediately. <laughs> Let's see, here we go. Oh, there you go. Take them all. All right, there you go. You got the pack. You got a, you got some bombs. Hmm. Like all these tracks kind of remind me of something, and I don't know what it is, other than like nightclubs, <laughs> like in movies, like not like actual nightclubs. Like, do you go to actual nightclubs? Mm, I've been, but like not really like regularly or anything. You're saying you're not you're not a club kid? I'm John? not a club kid. No. No. Weird, I, I, man. I always had you pegged. Yeah, I know. It, it's it's you'd think. I mean, you take one look at me. But uh I don't know, if also for some reason I, I think of the the soundtrack to the Matrix when I hear this specific song. Yeah. I don't know why. It's weird. Uh, uh. <sighs> but uh Oh, there's the Minotaur. Or as I like to call him the Minotarp. He's got a, a harp on his head. 
There you and go. I have no idea if that's what he's actually called, but that's what I've called called him. Let's see. Oh, there's a purple chest. You've now got magic. It's really just the dragons, man. Yeah, because they have a large they have a large uh, hit hit point because mm -hmm. they're four hearts. Whoa. Oh. Okay. What's this? Oh, uh, what's what's crossbow? Never had a ranged weapon before. Yeah, weird. Okay, there you go. This could be a, the so death with of me. ranged weapons. The only thing is you got to reload them. So now you got to do uh, down up to reload. Uh, seems like it's working. Oh, let's see. Uh, uh, maybe you only have like three shots or something. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Three shots. Yeah. Because I know, like, I had the uh, the the blunderbuss uh, earlier, and it only has one shot. I like it. Yeah. Once you get into the, once you get further into this, like I said, it's just they keep adding little things as the game goes on that make it uh, make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, but this, but challenging. And then oh. yeah, it does this too. Where if you don't go down uh, before the song is over, then um... oh, okay. Is this one of those where you get hurt every time uh, mm -mm. you don't move with the beat? No, just something else. Oh, two fifty. Jesus, you can kind of keep. I'll take the hearts, just in case. <laughs> He's a, you just hear him in the background doing his thing. Uh, I like the fact that that one skeleton is just jumping back and forth on that one block. It's like, dude, you can go around it. No, I'm not gonna. You didn't have a head anymore. This is true. Dude, I really want to. I really don't want to die. I'm so far. Yeah, you are. I think this is the furthest uh, we've been in this game. Well, actually, it may may have been further. Uh, cause I don't know. Cause I don't think we've unlocked uh, another person yet. No. Uh, this would be the first time we've we've seen another person. Oh, oh shit! Okay. Oh god damn it! Uh, no, potato bombs! Oh, God damn it. Oh, that was such a... I was so Welcome far. Welcome to your death. I was so Look at this, look at this, far. look at this replay. What? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Just, he <laughs> just like got so flustered, he killed himself. Like all my, all my, tra all my bolts, I just spent him immediately. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know bombs or something. I probably could have, I might have been able to get away from him. Get away yeah. from the dragon if I just reloaded instead of freaking the shit <laughs> yeah. out. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, another mm, another chest. That's always a good one. Or you can get a whip and uh, chainmail. Ooh, and the chain the chainmail is awesome. We haven't really gotten that much armor. What do you got? Crap. I go with uh, chainmail and the whip. I don't think have we ever gotten the whip? Um, have we used the whip? I think. All I right. may be thinking of another game, but uh, yeah. It's your I turn. Get up here. It's your 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 go, man. All right, so you'll notice we still haven't even gotten to zone two. Or yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was about as far as we've ever gotten, and it was still in zone one. So All chance. right, John, you got it. I'm gonna start singing off key oh. in a different rhythm to mess you up. Don't do that. <laughs> you're gonna mess me up as it is. Am I? I don't. Just know. try. You're gonna. You feel the need like a, a person who's not a jackass to respond when I'm talking instead of just sitting there being like, "Would you shut up, playing video game?" Fuck. Yeah. No, man. it actually takes me a second here to to figure out the uh, the rhythm of the song. Oh, ugh. Not dagger. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Yeah. Ugh. I really want to see the whip. It really sucks when you first start out. You don't have all those uh, all five of the hearts. Um, that's really where the game starts to open up is when you go and you get some of the hearts. Because um, in the beginning, it's like, you know, you just get hit. Especially, like, in the very beginning, the skeletons and the way that the monkeys jump, and even the blue blobs, they don't... They, they 
just jump from one square to another every other beat. They should be the easiest goddamn enemies in the world, but you're just like, no, I got to keep jumping with the beat. And then you mess it up. Yep. See, I'm more likely in these in this game to uh, sacrifice my like entire life to stay on the beat. John is willing to let the beat go. He'll turn the beat around if he has to uh, in order to, to keep alive because he's more concerned with not dying uh, than, you know, Rhythm Nation or... Uh, I don't know I, how many more rhythm jokes I can make. Ooh, ooh, obsidian pickaxe or shovel. Ooh, there's a diamond down there. Oh, is there? Yep. Down oh, to the right. It. And some bombs. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, you know, I, I feel like we talk about this from time to time on the Super Awesome Video Game Show, but I got to say that, you know, there's a lot of people out there who are, are really cynical about the state of the video game industry. And I feel like in a lot of ways with the AAA titles, it's not hard to be... Uh, a little kind of dismayed at just seeing like a lack of creativity but and steam has started to become like this horrible wasteland where you know there's just so many freaking things um that it can seem like everything that's on there is kind of garbage but then you come across something like this and you're just like holy shit this is really creative and it takes a formula for a game like a roguelike that you can play in your sleep and then puts a twist on it uh, by way of making a game where you, you're trying to continue moving, um, but it's like it's just enough to screw your brain up and make it a challenge and make it fun and make it feel like when you succeed that you're literally you're actually succeeding. Oh God, it's the Dragon John! Don't let him punk you out! Don't let him punk you out! Yeah, John did not get punked. I don't think I've killed a dragon yet. Really? I've killed a few. No, I mean in this in this playthrough. Oh, okay. I've killed a dragon, John. Come on. I play video games. All right. Good point. Like. All right. So I, well, I, meant in, I meant in this game. I just I didn't mean like in this playthrough. But I played Skyrim before. That's just yeah. nothing but dragon killing. Um. Oh, watch out for the monkey! Oh, like the monkey and the the. I wonder, uh, do we know if you if you don't move, do the enemies still move? Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, and you also lose your... your, your I your... like the way that the main character boings around everywhere. Ooh, what's that? That is uh, better armor. Wow. I've never used that so before. So that's three... Uh, l Let's um, see what else we got here. So in the beginning, there's actually a little story piece that I, for some reason, we just couldn't get to replay. Um, and basically, it's that this, this young lady this. is out doing an adventure and uh, falls down in this crypt and she should be dead but then this necromancer necro dancer shows up and takes her heart out which I don't understand if she has no heart how she's so good well at she's hearing her heart echo through the through the the caverns through the dungeon okay the so crypt. her heart belongs to prodigy her heart belongs to uh, the chemical brothers ooh what's that this is the whip how does it work it, it, it like exactly like you see it. Okay, but it's like how how many spaces does it go? Oh, I, that I don't know. Oh, you need to get the armor. Boom boom. Yep. We uh, we played this just, little. Oh, does it go two spaces instead of the like? Well, the apparently it can also go uh, diagonal. diagonal. Oh wow, cool. And I think it goes two spaces. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, there's a diamond up there. Yeah, the only thing that gets a little bit um, a little bit irritating is when you're playing and you're just trying to... Oh, there you go. You have to show me how the spells work. I've never successfully managed well, to make one work. up and right. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what... Okay, there you go. Nice. Um, that's interesting the way the spell thing doesn't... It doesn't seem to be going back down. Oh, it takes forever to move. Huh. Damn, man. Whip is the bomb. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I kind of I kind of just want to stop playing the evil within and play this instead. <coughs> this is far more terrifying than the uh, the monsters of the evil within. Uh-oh. Uh, what? 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 Get the cheese. Yeah, might as well get the cheese. Oh, you could have gone back and gotten the leather armor in the first level. Oh. Well, good point. Sorry. <laughs> That's me. I'm just going to sit here and, and uh, criticize what you're doing, John. 
Don't mind me, your co-host here. It's, like, it's okay. I don't know. I'm used to it. <laughs> what does that one do? Nothing. Yeah, it doesn't look like it alter? does anything. It's just an altar. We got one uh, where we actually they sent us to a level, and the first time that I missed a beat, I died. That was the whole point of the level. Was just oh, it's a dragon. Freeze him. Freeze the shit out of him. Yeah, there you go. Damn right. Exit stairs are my bitch. You just whip that monkey. Smack that ape around. <laughs> um, oh, man, oh. you're just you are trucking down. You're trying to get to, to get to zone two. I, I want to see what zone two is. Like I'm so methodical about trying to clear everything out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. On the other hand, you haven't managed to lose nearly as much life as I do at the end of level one. So yeah, you know, you know, good on you, John. I try, as they say, down under. Do they say that down under? I don't know. That's what they say in the movies, down under. Oh, okay. Get get on ya. Oh. I know you just want to sit in here and like <laughs> dance with that guy. <laughs> uh, I love it. Mm, 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 mm. I kind of wish that there was, um, like, the way that, you know, when, you, when you're when you on the... Ooh. Yeah, that's a trap. We haven't managed to do any of those yet. But, uh, oh, shit, John, this is your last health. Use the cheese. Up and left. All right. I'm going to backseat game the hell out of you here. It's okay. That whip is awesome, man. I really want to play with the whip. That's dirty. Dirty. Let's go, let's go through the wall, bro. Buy the golden key. Oh, there's a diamond up there. Yeah. Go through what wall? Or are you just... No, I, you, you've already done it. You... And the other thing is that I like about this is, I mean, I don't know if the hardcore mode is... Oh, oh. no, shit! Let's freeze him, John! Freeze him! Went up and right! Oh, you got to You had to freeze him! I did up and right, and it did nothing. Oh, you had the freeziness in your hands. The <laughs> ice was right there. And then you go in there, and you're whipping him. Oh, and you were so close. It's... Oh! Jerk. Killed by fireball. Stupid All right, fireball. well, I got... You got five. You should get the uh, the coin up that we've never had five diamonds to get to before. Coin multiplier. Point five uh, coin multiplier? Yeah. All right. Let's Let's... How much time we got over there? Thirty-three. Oh, okay. We're done. We're out of time. Time flies when you're when you're having fun necro dancing. Yeah, when you're necro dancing with the necro dancer. Uh, so, folks, as always, this has been the Super Awesome Video Game Show. Um, I know that it may not seem like it, but I am reading uh, your comments when you suggest make suggestions to us. It's just we gotta you know always try to make sure that we are. Was that a monocle? Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm just gonna try to make sure that we're uh, um, putting stuff on the show that I feel like people would be interested in. Uh, this game is on Steam, and it's in Early Access, and I gotta tell you, compared to a lot of the Early Access stuff we look at, it's very polished, it's very playable, it's, like, just the basic concept of it is super fun. Um, I would highly recommend checking it out, and uh, if you guys, you know, figure out good ways to play this game, let me know, because I, I really... I, just I, I want to know... We're what, supposed what to record Patreon, but I'm just John, get the fuck out of my house. I'm going to play Crypto the Necro Dancer. No, I, uh, I'm wondering... <laughs> I want to know what, what, if people play it with a uh, dance pad, how it is. Yeah, I mean, it says in the menu that, you know, the dance pad version is easier, uh, which I can imagine that you'd be exhausted like five seconds after you start. Um, but yeah, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you don't like. This show is all about kind of breaking out of the dojo format and looking at stuff that we don't get to see. So, you know, part of that is you guys letting us know what you want to see. Let us know what you want to see down below. Uh, as always, like and subscribe. Follow us. Uh, and we'll catch you next time. John, dance, John. Dance, motherfucker. Dance. Dancing.